Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 2. In the last episode, we challenged Dr. Wily's castle stage 3 and 4. And in today's episode, we're finally going to confront Dr. Wily himself. Well, now in this room here, before we can get to Wily, we have to go challenge all eight robot masters again. So let's start off this fight with Woodman. All right, you know what you know the drill. Equipped metal blades, and do what you did the last time you fought him. Jump over his leaf thing, and then unload on him with the metal blades. And after every time you kill one of them, you get a, a health refill. Now right, let's go on to the next one. It's Airman. Ugh, I hate you, Airman. Equip the wood woodly or uh, the leaf shield. And Gently jump over his thing. His tornadoes. Yeah, come on. Oh, there we go. Alright, kill them. Alright. Now let's go on to the next boss. And it's... Heatman! You should know what to do. If you watched all the videos all the way through, you know what to do. Jump over him. Unload on him. Then jump over his fire attack again. Boom, he's dead. This should be really easy for you guys. Except maybe Quick Man. Quick Man is a pain. And we got Flash Man. Shouldn't really have to waste anything on him. Let's just use the Mega Buster. He's so easy. Ugh. I... Flash Man is the easiest boss. Really is. Actually, I take that back. This is the easiest boss. Now watch this. I equip the metal blades. Me metal man's own weapon. He dies in one hit. I'm not even kidding. That is pathetic. He's weak against his own weapon and he dies in one hit with it. Alright, on to Crash Man. Let's equip the air shooter. And once, and him twice, he's dead. <laughs> Gosh, I'm making these guys look like wimps. Well, I guess I am playing on normal. Okay, we got Quick Man. Let's use the Time Stopper. That'll get rid of most of his HP. Alright, now let's equip the, uh, the Mega Buster. Ah, he's so sporadic all over the place. Quit it! Gosh, Lee, just die already, dude! Alright, he's dead. And finally, the last Robot Master is Bubble Man. Let's equip the Metal Blades. And then shoot him in the face! Now, uh, now we got that out of the way. We can finally confront Wily. Make sure you're ready for this. He's weak against the Metal Blades, so have that equipped. Also, guys, I want to uh, tell you, I, it may seem like I rushed through this game real easily, but I might just do a difficult run of this game in the future projects. Alright, we're here at Dr. Wily in his spaceship. And let's, yeah, just unload on him before he even gets a chance to do anything. And then that you defeated his first form, but I'm almost dead, so I'm going to use an E-Tank. He's got two forms of the spaceship. One that's uh, not revealing. I don't know if you guys can see that. The NES's gl graphics are glitching up, but he, his face is there. Just unload on him and be careful of those balls of doom. All right, now that we defeated Wily once, it seemed like that was the end, but no, there's more to it. Now it's time for the real last challenge. Let's fight Wily. For the last time in this game. After falling down this long shaft, you want to equip the bubble lid. And you'll see why here in a second. Avoid this uh, ooze drip. I don't know what this is. That's just nasty. That is really, really nasty. It looks like blood. It looks like. Someone was being sacrificed. Ugh. This place creeps me out. There's blood dripping from the walls. 
Alright. On to the last boss. Let's fight him. Oh my gosh! He's an alien! He's an alien. And he and everyone knows his weakness. Everyone knows the weakness of an alien is bubbles. Yeah, that's really pathetic, but yeah, that's the last boss's weakness is the bubble head. And for being the last boss, he's not too difficult. I mean, look, he goes in a figure eight formation and then shoots in regular patterns. As long as you can read the patterns and jump over them, you'll be fine. But one thing I need to tell you, do not by any means Oh, I have to use an E-Tank here. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm saying he's easy, but I'm getting hit really easily. One thing you do not want to do is you want you do not want to touch him. Because if you touch him, you die instantly. So, be careful of that. And his little uh, projectiles hurt a lot, so... As long as you can read the pattern and jump over him, and I'm not doing a very good job of it, uh, you'll be able to beat him with no problem. Make sure that whenever you, you cross paths with him, is to you need to shoot the bubble lid at him. And we've defeated the last boss in the game. Oh, it was just a hologram. You weren't an alien. Dr. Wily, you scoundrel. Ugh. You were using a hologram to trick us all along. Yeah, that's right. We whomped you, Wily. We whomped you good. Well, guys, that's the end of Mega Man 2, in a nutshell. You know, it really wasn't that, you know, some people think that Mega Man games are really, really difficult, but if you play them and you, uh, learn the ropes, it's actually not that hard. I really enjoy playing the Mega Man games. I've, I've, well, I've just now started getting into playing the classic Mega Man games. I, uh, I never grew up with, uh, own, uh, I never, uh, grew up with an NES, so I never played the games, but ever since I got an NES about a couple of years ago, I've had a lot of fun playing these Mega Ma classic Mega Man games. And we can see all the color or the the good cutscene that the NES had for the, for its time. Um there's Mega Man's helmet out in the open prairie. That's such a beautiful kit picture. Well guys, I want to thank you again for uh sitting through my videos and watching me play Mega Man 2. I really appreciate all the <laughs> the time you guys spend and watch my videos. Uh, also, some future things I wanted to show you or tell you about. Uh, as of right now, I'm probably going to be uploading this on Sunday night. But my next LP is going to be Castlevania on NES. Now keep in mind, this is going to be a very short game. It, it only has five levels in it, and it's going to be probably like a four-parter. So, and afterwards, I think I'm going to do Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis. And then after that, I might go back to playing Golden Sun again, playing the second game. And I might even play another game to comp- or, uh, I don't know what to have to uh, compensate the other one too. I might do two LPs at the same time. Um, yeah, and I'll leave that that second game a mystery to you guys. But I don't plan on starting uh, Castlevania until maybe Wednesday because I've got finals at, at, at this community college I, I I go to, and I've got to study for those. But expect Castlevania Part 1 up on Wednesday night. Hopefully Wednesday. No, not Wednesday night. Just Wednesday. And there's the classic NES ending. Thank you for playing. Presented by Capcom USA. Well, guys, I want to thank you again for watching my LP 
of Mega Man 2. Tune in next time when we play Castlevania on NES. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye.